Give light to my eyes, lest I fall asleep in death, lest my enemies say I have overcome him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall, may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sin be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. 
Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they do not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Beautiful gospel, beautiful for us in the season of Lent, inviting us more deeply into truth, which is deeper humility. That's part of what St. Augustine says, that humility really is truth. It not, has nothing to do, of course, about beating ourselves up, but it's about admitting the truth. And so, in a, in a way, embracing the truth and joyfully choosing to live in the truth. And, of course, for us as Christians, we know the truth. Everything we have has been given to us. All the grace, all of our life in Christ, all of it is gift. And there can always, of course, be a temptation. A little whisper in the back says, way to go, you did it. <laughs> you know? And of course, that's just, just a, a, the whispering of our egos that doesn't need to be there. It's, it's always there in a sense, but the part of our, the invitation is to let that go and to live in the joy of being sons and daughters of our Father who has provided for us, to allow our, our, our eyes to have that before us always, that we have been so deeply blessed. And of course, it, we, we've all been blessed in general in the gift, but I know that all of us here have, have had those very special gifts that have, get, have been given to us, those, those tender mercies that have been shown to us by our Father. And so to hold those in memory, those are given not because we, are, we ourselves are so great, but because our Father is so good, so tender, and really does love us as his sons and daughters. So we give thanks. And I, I love this line here, whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. We're meant to hear that if we, if we really allow ourselves to embrace the full truth of who we are, so, ridicul so ridiculously dependent upon God, and to receive that deeply. Then we'll taste even more how much God wants to provide even more for us, how better he is, how much, I was going to say how much gooder, <laughs> but how very good he really is. As, as, we, as we go lower, in a sense, allow ourselves really to be who we are. And then we're exalted. We're not meant to hear that, that it's, not, uh, it's not then our egos finally get to be assuaged. Good job. You did a good job. But no, we, we, we remain always dependent. And there we allow the Lord to do the great works he desires to do in us. And we can lead others that way too, to show them more deeply the joy of being dependent upon our God. And that's part of the invitation that we're invited in, in, the, in the beauty of the kingdom of, of God. Let's stand together and offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to lead and inspire him as he serves as Vicar of Christ on earth, we pray to the Lord. 
for civic leaders. May the Lord give them the compassion and strength to fight for human dignity and for laws that promote human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. For the chronically ill, may the healing compassion of Christ be made present for them through their families, caregivers, and all who support them. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the Lord help us to grow in understanding of his eternal merciful love for us, and so to be more deeply transformed. We pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, especially for Mike Clovey, for whom this Mass is being offered, may God shed his mercy upon them, that they may live in everlasting joy with him. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, we know that you hear our prayers and petitions. Please grant these through your Son, Jesus, who is Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord. And by it may we be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, 
handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. May the receive, oops, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase in devoutness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness, they may ever rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.